Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. The Centerville Library has a new program geared towards seniors called Memory Cafe. And here to tell us more from the Washington Centerville Public Library, we have, and I'll remember, Debbie Dawkins and Georgia Murgler. Thanks very much. Thanks we'll for having us. Memory Cafe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, hopefully I'll remember everything as we go throughout today's program. But um, really this program, Debbie, is geared for seniors and it's new. Is this something that you all decided um, was a service that needed to be filled? Oh yes, definitely. Right. And Georgia went to uh, the Ohio Library Conference recently and they had a program about memory cafes to help seniors kind of build cognitive learning and have fun and things like that. So we decided, well, last year or the year before, we did a senior resource right. fair. Mm -hmm. So we've just concentrated a little bit more on senior programming. So this idea for Memory Cafe came up and we decided to kick it off with a five-person panel on Friday, February 2nd. It's called Stay Sharp. They'll talk about ageism, cognitive learning, the importance of play, the importance of exercise, Alzheimer's, dementia, and Brain HQ, which is a program that the library subscribes to. And if you're a library card holder, you can play games on our website. Oh, so, I've never even heard of that. Yeah, Brain HQ. Well, I'm gonna ask about that real quickly because is that something that's open for everyone or do you have to be a senior for that? No, you don't have to be a senior. So it's a library da database. You can log in using your library card number and you basically, have you heard of Lumosity yes. before? So brain yeah. games, that's what Brain HQ is. So it it tests your, your spatial awareness, memory, you know, cognitive acuity, how quickly you can recognize things that were in a pattern. So the those are really kind of resources that anybody can use as long as they have a library card. And you can access it from home. There's an app. It's we, got a, we got a big promotional push last year when they interviewed Tom Brady, New England Patriot yeah. quarterback, and he talked about how he does Brain does. HQ <laughs> every day and how it builds his Well, you know, we never quickness. stop learning and we never right. should stop learning. Right, right. So this is a great way to keep us sharp and you are saying that it's a panel discussion on February yes. 2nd. Yes, that's this Friday from 2 o'clock until about 3.15, 3.30. And then in March, we're going to have a program called Delay the Disease. Ohio Health will come. It's the number one Parkinson's program in the country. It's an interactive session. You need to register for that okay. one. And we're already up over 50 participants. Then in April, we'll have a program that oh, the presenter gave at a Chautauqua in New York. And it's about play and the importance of playing puzzles and games, that sort of thing for seniors. And then I'm going to write a trivia, kind of a trip down memory lane nice. for May. That'll be fun. And then we have an exercise program um, with Craig. Greg Cole from Bethany. He'll do one. He's with Rocksteady Boxing, so he's going to do that in June. So I know you mentioned that one does require registration. Yes. What's the best way to register or get more information? They about? can call me at 610-4429 or they can go on our website at wclibrary.info. Okay. Either way. And the, are they taking place inside the library? Yes, at, in the program room at Centerville Library. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, good memory tricks. I'm trying to think of all the mnemonics. We use them all the time still, so right. it really is important to keep sharp. Yes. And so this again is the senior programming. We're kicking off on February 2nd, and it basically it's every month through yes, May. Yes, the first Friday of the month until it's not successful anymore. We'll just run it every month. So we have lots of different ideas. We'll have a sing-along one month and maybe a scrapbooking session. We're talking about prom. Who knows? Dancing. Oh, everything that we that's all the things all, that we love to yeah, do, and all the things throughout our lives. And so, do you need to have a library card to attend no. these events? No, you okay. do not. Mm -mm. So you can just come, but for registration, you need to go online to register. Correct, or call me. Yes, okay. either way, we'll okay. help you. Yeah, or you can call the library. Or stop in the library. Four three three eight zero nine one. Yes, we'll make it as easy as possible. All right, and it's called Memory Cafe, and it's a good mm -hmm. way to keep you sharp and keep your. Is it HQ? Brain HQ. Brain HQ. Yes. Okay, I've forgotten already. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should come to the program. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an age limit? Okay. No. 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 And that's a, that's a good thing to point out, too, is that this Memory Cafe idea that I heard at the conference wasn't just for seniors, but even caregivers, if they're, if it's a senior who's at an advanced age and they can't drive or, you know, they're, have, they're having even more trouble remembering than 
than we are <laughs> here. So it's definitely, it's open to the public. There's no age minimum, but it is targeted towards that particular age group just in the in the topics that we pick and the things we talk about. Well, and, and you always want to keep your brain sharp and all of these games and activities really help do that. So for more information, you can stop in the library or visit the website. Um, but the first program is on, as you said, Friday, this, this February, Friday 2nd, February 2nd. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so much is going on. The ladies busy. A little, yes, little, little, little bit, bit of this bit. and that going on. Bit. I guess the big thing too is, is Woodburn and all the excitement that's happening right. there. Yes, it is very exciting. And I'm sure when people are driving down State Route 48, you try to take a going peek and north, it's hard to yes, see. you're trying to <laughs> see. And actually, someone told me the other day, they're like, yeah, I, I really need to just make myself look at the road because, you know, you start looking one way and start swerving the other way. But there's construction fencing up, so it is a little bit difficult to see, but they are making progress. Um, they have, we have some exciting things that we just recently announced, including, I know Centerville's having a big birthday yep, right. this year, but the Centerville Noon Optimist is also celebrating a milestone 50th, 50th anniversary. anniversary. Mm -hmm. And so they were looking for projects in the community to fund, and they asked the library, hey, do you have anything to fund that needs funded? We're looking for projects specifically that have to do with the children in our community. Well, when we originally did the bid for Woodburn Library, there was a storybook, like a children's storybook garden that was mm -hmm. part of the exterior landscape and because the bids came in too high we had to kind of opt out of that particular piece of it to get the bidding where we where the board felt comfortable so when the when the uh, optimist club came to us we kind of started entertaining mm. the idea of that again so the optimists have made a $25,000 donation to Which purchase. Which is huge. Yes, yes. huge. Wow. Well they gave a hundred thousand dollars so TJ's place of hope Children's Medical and the Park District and the library have all benefited. As a Noon Optimist member, yes. she can, <laughs> yes. which is awesome. That's great. Yeah. So their funding specifically went to purchase three, um, they call them tinsel straight shade, uh, shade structures. So they're... And we've got them. So yeah, we, we have some pictures of that. But they're, this children's storybook garden is a grassy area mm -hmm. that will have some hardscape seating, some concrete benches, as you see there, and these shade structures, which those are what the optimists have funded. And they'll be at varying heights. When you look at them from the road, you'll be able to see them all and they'll be colorful they'll be orange and tan so that picture doesn't exactly so replicate see this it from when you're on 48 you'll, you'll be, be able, able to see, see it and you'll be able to see it when you're inside the library proper because the part of the library that faces this garden is a complete wall of glass okay. so it'll be a really really nice kind of artistic addition too so that's really nice. You see there the ooh, overview. I know, that's the ooh and all. Yeah, yes. I know that makes you so excited. That's the to money see shot it right does. there. Yeah. So that's what Woodburn Library will look like when it's completed. So you can kind of see there at the top of that photo the little patch of grass there. That's where this children's storybook garden will be. But you can also, there you there go. It is. So those you're seeing an aerial view now of those shade structures but that'll be a nice place to do some outdoor programming mm -hmm. with the kids Very and nice. it's going to be a really really nice play a really nice gathering place maybe even do some outdoor concert kind of things oh, so great. it's going to be really neat the other thing that's exciting that's happening uh, i should mention that the rest of that project is being funded by the yek family foundation mm -hmm. so this really nice amenity that's going to be part of woodburn library privately funded no additional tax dollars requested to, to have that nice little addition, so that'll be nice. The other part is the sunscreen that's kind of a long, oh, yes. yeah, so that. it's a long 48, and it was also along the facade of the building that faced the parking lot as well. So that's pretty iconic to mid-century modern architecture, which Woodburn is one mm -hmm. of a pretty famous Woody Garber building. And that sunscreen was done by an artist named Harry Batoya, who worked with Woody Garber frequently. And if you're a fan of architecture, people love that part of Woodburn Library. And so they're very concerned. Maybe we can put it back on so we, you can show where it's going to okay. be. Okay. Right? They're very concerned yeah. that we might lose that when. Did that, you all even know building. it was there, though? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. oh sure. So if you look at the bottom of this picture, mm -hmm. the side of the um, building that is facing the, the bottom of the photo, there's that little colorful strip that's right along the right roof the line. Right there. Right, which would have been right along 48. Right, right. right along 48. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the sunscreen. And we had a conservation group, McKay Lodge, come out and assess that and see what it would take to restore it. And the Centerville Landmarks Foundation actually paid for them to do that because you know, this is kind of a landmark, right? you know, in and of itself, Woodburn is. And so they came out and they gave us an estimate on what it was going to cost to restore it. And we're going to restore that starting in April. So you'll have a lot of old, but you'll have some refurbished right. new. Right, exactly. And so that's paid for through Woodburn Library Arts Woodburn Endowment, Library Arts which Endowment. again is the Yuck Family yeah. Foundation. Private money. Mm -hmm. So originally that sunscreen was bright orange and blue and white Gold. and over time <laughs> purple you know Beautiful. Yeah. brown over time <laughs> over time it's it's you know corrosion mm -hmm. and rust and yeah. that kind of thing so it's not as colorful as it originally was but they're going to bring that back to its original beauty that's exciting so, Beautiful. yeah mm -hmm. so you can get a little bit of history stuff. when you go in the library yes. yeah any exactly. date on when you well, we've been, telling, we've been telling people all along yeah. late summer, right. and it looks like we're on track to be, and so, like, we know that summer isn't officially over until middle September, right? So mm -hmm. when, we say late, when we say late summer, it will be late summer. We're covering all bases. Really yeah. Yeah. late. Yeah, yeah. Right. it'll be late summer. Exactly. So, Sometime in September. But we'll for folks who love to go to Woodburn, you have Woodburn at Cross Point. We right? do have Woodburn yeah. at Cross Point. We do have Woodburn at Cross Point, and, and uh, you know, they can look forward to the new Woodburn Library being even bigger and better when it opens. So that'll be really nice. But for now, Woodburn at Cross Point is a cozy little location where they can pick up their holds. And a lot of people use it to use the Wi-Fi. We have a lot of people mm -hmm. who just come and work. Well, that's a great location. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, your other location on Spring Valley. Yes. You've extended those hours because of Woodburn. So right. give us a rundown real quickly of that for people who maybe haven't we been have. there. We have. So. Centerville is open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and then Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday 1 to 5. And we are making some changes at, at Centerville too. You know, if you've been in lately, you'll see we have new self-checkout machines. That's part of our RFID project. We just re-tagged everything cool. in the collection with radio frequency identification tags. So when you go up to those self-checkouts, you don't have to scan each one, one by one by one. You can put your old stack on it and it just very nice. Check them all out in one fell swoop. So we wow. had to do that because the technology we're going to use at Woodburn is RFID technology. So we couldn't have old and new, you know, so. Materials float. Yeah, so you that's know. a good reason exciting. to come in and just kind of reacquaint yourself with the Center of the yeah, Library if you've exactly. not been in for a little while. And again, we want to remind you about the Memory Cafe. Right. Every month on Friday. Very first, first Friday. Friday of the month at 2 p.m and it'll be in the calendar of events, the printed and the online version. I'll send a press release out, so. And then really a great place to go for information, I always say, is your website, Georgia. Yeah. It's got everything on there. Yeah, we try. We, we really consider that our third location because in addition to just being a great information resource, you, know, you can check out materials from our website, digital books, digital audio, e-magazines, video. Look at your video. account. Everything. Yeah, you can manage your account. And I want to talk about the hotspot real quickly. Oh, yes. So that's the newest thing that we've added, our wireless hotspots. The collection of them is not very big. We just have like a handful of them. But basically, you can take wireless internet access wherever you go. We have these little hotspots. They use the Sprint network. So say you're traveling to Florida in your car and you want your kids to be able to watch Netflix. Okay, so now you've got this little portable hotspot traveling with you so you have internet access. Wherever the Sprint network, yeah, yeah. wherever right. the Sprint network is available. So if you can't get Sprint cellular service, you're not going to be able to access the Wi-Fi. So. Well, just something great about the library. You're always anticipating the needs of what your clientele, our residents, need. So thanks for doing that. Sure. You're welcome. And our we pleasure. look forward to hearing more about the Memory Cafe. Again, those are the first Fridays throughout or ongoing. Forever. For, Until for, infi for, infinity, infinity and beyond. beyond. I knew that was coming. That should be a trivia question Yeah, for you. it should be. <laughs> okay. For more information, you can visit the library's website, which is wclibrary.info. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. For more information about the city of Centerville, you can call us at 433-7151 or visit our website, which is centervilleohio.gov. That's going to do it for this show. We'll see you next time.